So, you're considering making a move to Greenville, South Carolina, but you're not sure if you'd even enjoy living here. In this video, we're going to go over the five pros and the five cons of living in Greenville, South Carolina, and make sure you watch all the way through. At the end of the video, you should know if Greenville is the right fit for you. My name is Rob Warfield. I'm a realtor in the Greenville area. I've lived in Greenville for over a decade, and if you're considering making a move here or considering moving from here, I'd be happy to help you. All my contact information is in the description below. Pro number five, access to outdoor recreation. Greenville is located near the Blue Ridge Mountains, which offer a variety of outdoor recreation opportunities, including hiking, biking, camping, and skiing. There are also several lakes and rivers in the area that are popular for fishing and boating. Combining this with our amazing Southern climate, if you're an outdoor enthusiast, you'll find plenty of places to enjoy. You know, one of my favorite areas is Table Rock State Park, just one hour drive from Greenville. It is a bikers and hikers paradise. Pro number four, the mild Southern climate. Greenville has a mild climate with four distinct seasons and winters are usually mild and summers are warm but not excessively hot. The area also experiences relatively low humidity. I personally love the climate in Greenville and enjoy experiencing the change of seasons each year. My family likes to hike and play outdoors and we can do that almost year round. Pro number three, the thriving local economy. Greenville is home to a diverse range of industries, including manufacturing, healthcare, and technology. This means there are many job opportunities available and the economy is generally very strong. Greenville is home to several company headquarters, ranging from small startups to large corporations. Some of the notable headquarters located in Greenville or near Greenville are Michelin North America, the global manufacturer for tires, the BMW North America, the global automotive manufacturer. A fun fact you might not know, every BMW Model X in America is built right here in Greenville. Our strong manufacturing labor force is a great stabilizer for our overall housing market and our economy as a whole. Pro number two, our affordable cost of living and our cost of housing. Compared to many other cities in the US, Greenville has a relatively low cost of living and low housing costs. Housing, groceries, and other necessities are generally affordable and there are many job opportunities available. This makes our area very attractive if you're moving here from a more expensive area. You can save money on everyday items and purchase a very nice house for an affordable price relative to other cities. Pro number one, an award-winning and vibrant downtown. Greenville's downtown area is highly acclaimed and highly walkable and offers a variety of restaurants, shops, entertainment options. There are also several parks and green spaces within the downtown area, making it a great place to spend time outdoors. Greenville, South Carolina's downtown has won numerous awards and accolades over the years for its revitalization and development efforts. Here are some of the notable awards and recognitions that downtown Greenville has received. Number one, the Great American Main Street Award. Greenville was named the Great American Main Street by the National Trust of Historic Preservation. Number two, the best small city for business and careers. In 2019, Forbes named Greenville the number four best small city for business and careers in the U.S. Number three, the top 10 best downtowns by livability. Greenville's downtown was named one of the best downtowns in the U.S. multiple times, most recently in 2021. Lastly, America's greatest Main Street. In 2018, Travel and Leisure named Greenville's Main Street as one of America's greatest Main Streets. We talked about the five pros of living in Greenville, but like most cities, it's not perfect, and there are definitely some cons about living here. So let's jump into it. Con number five, lack of public green spaces. While there are several parks and green spaces in the downtown area, the city overall may be lacking in public green spaces, especially in the more suburban areas. If you're someone who loves to visit and explore vast amounts of parks, Greenville might not be for you. Con number four, limited cultural diversity. If you're looking for a city with a wide ranging cultural diversity, you might not find it in Greenville compared to other larger cities. This aspect of Greenville has gotten better in the last decade, but there's still a lot of room for improvement. Con number three, pollen season. As spring arrives, so does the pollen season and we get a nice coating of yellow on everything outdoors. It makes your eyes burn and your throat itch. If you suffer from allergies and are thinking of moving to Greenville, 
you might want to consider upping your dose of allergy meds. Con number two, limited public transportation. Now, Greenville's public transportation system is not as extensive as most large cities, which make it, makes it difficult if you don't have access to a car. The city is addressing this, but it'll be years before we put it into full-scale operation. Con number one, traffic congestion. Though many of my clients who are coming from larger cities laugh when I tell them we have traffic congestion, it's been on the rise as it's become a more popular city and has increased dramatically over the past several years. Again, while not as bad as some larger cities, Greenville can experience traffic congestion during rush hour and peak tourist seasons. I personally never go near the popular Woodruff Road shopping corridor on the weekends or around the holidays. It's a black hole of fender benders and bumper to bumper traffic. So there you have it, my five pros and my five cons of living in Greenville, South Carolina. Hopefully at this point, you have a better idea if Greenville is the right place for you. If you're interested in moving to Greenville, consider subscribing to the channel because I'll have a lot more content coming out very soon. If you're considering a move to Greenville and want some experienced advice on buying a house, feel free to message me. Thank you for watching and I will catch you on the next video.